Welcome to the Jacob School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences at the University at Buffalo. I'm Dr. Stuart Ingalls, a faculty member in the Department of Pathology and Anatomical Sciences and one of the instructors for the preclinical phase of the medical curriculum. And I'm here to show you what the Jacob School of Medicine has to offer you in your medical education. Every floor, every classroom in this 628,000 square foot facility is specifically designed to fuel your passion for medicine, to hone your diagnostic abilities, to open your eyes to the medical marvels that are being developed on the medical campus, and to give you an appreciation for what interdisciplinary medicine really means by using a team-based approach that emphasizes every person's role in a medical team. Please join me as I take you on this virtual tour of the Jacob School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences to show what we have to offer for your medical education needs. No, you're not in a hospital ward. Well, it sure looks like it, doesn't it? That's the entire point. Welcome to the Bailing Simulation Center. In this facility, our students are presented with a variety of medical conditions that require them to make split-second life-or-death decisions all in a controlled simulation environment. This gives our students practical experience so that they're better able to recognize, diagnose, and treat these conditions when they see them in an actual patient population once they are practicing physicians. An important aspect of any educational experience is student feedback. Cameras and microphones are positioned throughout the simulation center to record student interactions with standardized patients. And physicians are available in a simulation control room to analyze the student's procedures in real time. Following the procedure, students and physicians come back to this room. This is a debriefing space where the physician will be able to go over the experience with the students, discuss what things were done well, and what areas can use improvement. The end result is better care for the patients of our future graduates. Welcome to the Surgical Simulation Center, where surgical residents and medical students alike hone their skills with procedures as straightforward as simple suturing techniques to those as complex as arthroscopic procedures. This area is huge. A total of 17 separate stations are set up to perform any sort of surgery imaginable, from craniotomies to plantar fasciotomies pretty much everything in between. So a total of 17 surgical teams can be practicing at once under close faculty supervision. And for laparoscopic procedures, the camera can be projected live in high definition to one of eight monitors located throughout the room. Just down the hall, four robotic operation suites allow us to develop and refine state-of-the-art surgical techniques. Just down the hall from the Surgical Simulation Center, we're putting the finishing touches on what will be my principal teaching space, the Gross Anatomy Lab. Cadaver dissection is a time-honored tradition that still has an important place in modern medical education. Each year, students marvel at how well they understand the intricacies and the ins and outs of the human body, having just completed a dissection of one. Once the lab is finished, we will have 31 separate stations situated throughout the room, which will allow teams of six students at each body to complete the dissection. Now this ratio of six students to one body is very, very high and allows a lot of hands-on experience that not very many medical schools are able to compete with. Before any of the bodies are dissected, they first go through a full body CT scan and this data is given to the students that they may call it up on the television screens and be able to analyze the radiographic information of their bodies before they even cut in. Finally, if a student notices an unusual tissue, we're able to bring in a pathologist to take a look and give an initial assessment. But more than that, that pathologist is able to take sections of that tissue take them away for staining and microscopic analysis and create digital images that then can be brought back up to the anatomy lab. So that on each screen, students can be able to look at the microscopic pathology that comes from the own cadaver that they are dissecting. Finally, notice that we have these flex labs which serve, again, as surgical simulation centers that have the feel of a full operating room. 
This will once again will allow our residents and our upper year medical students to come in to perform mock surgeries using the cadavers that are provided and gives our first year medical students a full exposure to these procedures that are being performed. So yes, cadaver dissection is a time-honored tradition, but at the Jacobs School of Medicine, we've pulled it into the 21st century. The new medical school offers a large number of classrooms, some with seating capacity upwards of 400 individuals. This has to be my favorite classroom, the Active Learning Center. Active learning is becoming a big deal in higher education. In a traditional didactic lecture, you would have a sage-like professor standing at a podium with all eyes and all chairs directed towards him. In an active learning session, students engage in self-directed learning through group activities. And the professor goes from being a sage on the stage to a guide on the side. This room is perfectly built to accommodate that sort of learning. It has all the typical amenities that you would anticipate for a classroom, but rather than be sitting in benches that are transfixed towards the podium and the professor, students sit at these triangular tables that can accommodate upwards of nine students where they can engage in problem-solving activities directed towards one another. If a student has a comment to make, each one of the tables is equipped with microphone buttons that allows them to project their voice. So the students have just as strong a voice in the room as the professor, which is the entire point of active learning. For additional information on the Jacobs School of Medicine, you're encouraged to take the remainder of the virtual tour. Be sure to visit some of the perspectives that are given by faculty and current students. Once again, this has been Dr. Stuart Ingalls. Enjoy the rest of your virtual stay at the Jacobs School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences.